Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. So in this lesson, we're just going to finish up with our fees, payments, update, user form. So basically that is that. We are almost done with it. We are only left with copying and pasting the, the lines of codes just to get the user form up and running. But then before we do that, let me just bring you up to speed on something. That is the, uh, the, the sheet numbers. You know, as the, the the user form, let me just check on something. The user form 2, that is for the teachers. You can see that when you go to the codes, the various sheets, that is sheet 4, sheet 4, the codes have been assigned to interact with sheet 4. It is the sheet 4 that contains the database, that is the information of the teachers. It is the sheet 4 that interacts with that particular user form for the teachers. If your sheet is not sheet 4, it means it wouldn't be able to interact with it. The codes we have written here are assigned to sheet 4. So if yours is not like that, it means you didn't follow the tutorials from the beginning very well. And for that matter, you have to go back and do exactly that. Make sure your sheet 4 contains the teacher's details as you can see it here. Good. That is that. Let me switch back to user form. Uh, three that is the payment with that one as well you can see the fees collection is sheet seven so you can see that all our codes which i'll be pasting in here are going to be interact interacting with what the sheet seven that is the fees collection sheet so make sure you follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end else you wouldn't get what you want that is that now let's just go ahead and begin copying and pasting our codes let's just go and see where the codes are as usual, it's in this folder. Now, fees collection form. So, we have the first ones for this. So, you can just select this, then a control C to copy it. Then we go to our backends. So, we go to the codes. So, we just have to double click on this close button. So, let's clear everything here and control V to paste what we've just copied. Then, double or triple press this, the enter key to give more space for more codes to come in so we go to the second one so that is for reset control a to select control c to copy so we just come in here control v to paste one two three another space here we go back to our codes for search control a to select control c to copy we come in here control v to paste one two three space and we go back this way then we close this and we go to the next code that is text box 14 control a to select control c to copy can even close this as well and then go ahead and paste this here one two three space and we go ahead for the last code and then that is for the update so control a to select control c to copy and we can minimize this Control V to paste so we can just save it here. Okay. Now let's run our codes and debug the if there is any error. After debug, then we do that. Good. So but now let's just go ahead and text. Let me, let, let me just type in some random information here and see what's gonna happen. So let me just check on reset. Good. The reset functionality is working perfectly. Let me just go ahead and do something. Okay, let's just close this for now. And let's go back to our... Um, what do you call it? Okay, but before we do that, let's just close it entirely and assign a macro on this button. So that when we trigger it, when we click on it, it triggers or it opens the fees collection user form for us. So let's go back to developer tab and then we go back to visual basic. And let's come to insert, then you insert model. So we have the third model here. So in here, you just type sub u from three. So you see user from three dot show. Good. So we have u from three here. So we can close this. Let's come here and assign macro. So choose you from three. Okay, so we click on this, we have it popping up. Good, so we can work it from here. Now let's just add some random information here. 
so let's just start King Jada for now we're going to be entering it manually like this and so we are done linking them up together that is when we use the user form for that so class we say basic one gender male admission date 12 12 2000 I would say 2000 and then fees 300 cities so okay let's say fees 400 cities installation 100 cities and all that for now the payment status and other things okay let's just say we have received 100 cities from him or her so far and then balance is still uh, we are left with something like uh, let's say 300 we take status let's say uncompleted for now we're going to be entering them manually we're going to be coding them uh, appropriately so that we don't do all this by ourselves but so we have the second person so two so we say solomon kalu basic five sorry basic five gender male admission date 12 10 2007 the uh, fees 700 Ghana cities installments 500 let's go to balance I received 500 balance 200 still uncompleted good so we have that already entered for us automatically so let's just trigger our button so we're going to test the functionality of the search button from here so we click on this then we just search and we have the information displayed here but there is one thing i would like you to know what is going to happen in this form is this we're not going to be updating the name the admission number name class mail and then dates of admit sorry admission dates fees this this is going to be we are going to be refer make reference to some sheet so we can't update this it's not going to be updated we can only update payments if the person has come with some payment to do yours is to enter the admission name of number of the, the student search then how much has the person brought how much has the person does the person has to pay so this form will tell you everything so you can see that the name is here the admission number is here the name of the person the fees the person is supposed to pay appears here as well then the install inst like installation how much has, has the person paid so far so that this will determine everything if the person has brought another money to pay yours is to check in one of the installation fields and enter the amount the person has brought and update just the payment we can't update all these fields so basically that is how the form works so let's just check the functionality of the search and then uh, we search this the second person and then everything is here so the payments we can't we can't we can't update this so we leave it so let's just assume that the person has brought another payment that is a uh, 500 so let's just update and see what's going to happen installation 3 update so let's just close the form and check the second person is three. so the installation 3 so good the 500 is also here so you can see it has updated so it means we can only update the following columns the install the installment columns the installment column that is where we can just um, update so that is that it's like my labels that there is some lapses here please kindly change this to installment and not installation sorry change this to installment by yourself you can quickly do that and then you'll be good to go so that is that it should be installment one installment two installment three and all that so basically that is that so i would like to end this video here and then our next video we're going to look at how to begin adding some formulas to begin doing the counting of our student for us so till then i say thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the next video but bye for now